Revenge was on Manchester City's minds at the Valley. Charlton's four wins on the trot started at Main Road last month. Rufus and Kylie confused at the back. Mark Vivian Foe failed to capitalise. On recent form, Alan Kerbishley expected much more from his team and the lively Kevin Lisby came up trumps. His second half surge stopped by Kevin Horlock just inside the penalty area. A tricky call for referee David Pugh, but he got it right. Jason Ewell had missed his last two penalties. No mistake this time. To add to their attacking thrust, the Londoners have brought on Klaus Jensen at half-time. A spectator so far during their good run. This was an impressive return. 2-0, straight win number five seemed to be on the cards. Lisby, who'd set up the second, should really have wrapped up the game himself. But Peter Schmeichel triumphed in the one-on-one. -on -one. Jensen squandered the rebound and it turned out to be a pivotal moment. City's ace up their sleeve was Ali Banabia, arriving from the bench to help launch a comeback. His cross inadvertently flicked on. Foe at the far post atoned for that first half miss. City visibly grew in confidence. Seven minutes to go when Nicholas Anelka broke free. Another scary moment for Rufus. This time, the referee favoured the defender. But Charlton's luck did run out in the 87th minute. The shot from Berkovic going wide until Foe's intervention. 2-2. Now they really wish they'd won that spot kick. Our fans, 4,000 of them, thought it was a penalty. They had a good view, didn't they? Yeah, they had the best view. You'll have to go and interview them. Yeah. Uh, they won't get fined, will they? If they'd have got the penalty and scored against us and beat us 3-2, then, uh, then you could say I'd be pick-sick in here. I mean, I'm a little bit down, obviously, but I'm so pleased with what they've done. I've got no complaints. Um, the last five or six weeks have been met.